So today's first is gonna be ghost hunting. People are not used to cameras here. Welcome back to CJ versus Reality. I am home for a week to visit my family in Fort Collins, Colorado, which is where I grew up, and it's beautiful and cute. It's also haunted. Growing up, I did hear a lot of stories about different locations and restaurants that were haunted, and people would have like ghosts pulling their hair, or they would spot somebody who would disappear in front of their eyes, and it always fascinated me, but I never went on one of the tours. And I just made some new friends. Check it out. Hi, guys. What's up? Hey. Who is everybody What's here? Who do my we name's have? Misa. Follow me on Instagram at Misaya24 Castillo. Love. Follow me on Instagram at Baby Girl Road Day. <laughs> Read 180 underscore. My name's Brian. Follow me on Instagram <laughs> Mendez.Brian10. My name's Dante. Follow me on Instagram DSwish9. My name's Edgar. Follow me on Instagram at Edgar with two R's. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So nice to meet you. Can't wait to see your vlogs. Keep in touch. Good Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you. That's my favorite thing about social media is meeting new people and having friends everywhere you go. Now off to our first location. I found a place that used to be called the Astoria. It was a restaurant. I mean it was originally a bank and apparently somebody died there. There was an employee at the bank who was let go in 1910 and died of mysterious circumstances just a tad after and he is said to haunt the bar. Oh. It is now a different bar and I can't go in. However, I will show you guys the outside and some really creepy stories. We're almost there. Okay, I'm sitting outside of the building. Apparently the guy who haunts the bank has appeared multiple times to employees. He's usually in like a dark suit and dress shoes. And one time an employee was working late at night and he was like under the service bar or something and he heard somebody walk up. So he looked up and asked the man if he could help him. And as he was focusing on the man's face, the man disappeared in front of his eyes. And so he freaked out and he like got his manager to go to the store. Multiple, multiple people have spotted the same guy in the suit and dress shoes. So he lives there. He's gonna come sit next to me right here. I have a seat open just for him. Off to our next haunty location. And we are stopped again. Look at it. We found some more vloggers. Alrighty, guys, who are you? I'm Jacob Loris. J A C O B L O R I S. I don't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Everybody here is so fond of vlogging. It's awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, have a good one. It's funny because I came back here in November and everybody was kind of glaring at me for talking into a camera. And now this time everybody's like, oh, are you vlogging? Can I be in it? It is so funny. Places change quick. Hey. What did I tell you? Next place we're headed is called Walrus Ice Cream, which I grew up loving. Their chocolate ice cream is to die for. And it is a uh, truck passing. Hold on. It is famous for being one of the very most haunted places in Fort Collins. And I think the most people have experienced paranormal activity there out of anywhere else. There is a poltergeist type ghost that supposedly lives in the basement and likes to pull especially female employees hair. I think it's really funny. I'm gonna see if we can get down in the basement. We probably won't be able to, but there's no harm in asking. Apparently the building next door to the ice cream shop used to be the city's crematorium and morgue and the bodies were dropped off right under the ice cream shop so that's why it's said to be haunted and I think that's super creepy. Dead bodies are my worst fear. I cannot deal with that. And here it is. They changed so much in here. This was like the ice cream shop we came to when I was growing up. And we would come here at least once a week. So apparently it's flooded and too wet to go down. They said they could take me down in a couple of days, but like that's not soon enough. But all the employees knew what I was talking about. They're all like, oh yeah, the walrus man. And uh, they were friendly, so off to the next location. What I'm standing in front of is the Avery Building, which is also said to be haunted. It was originally a bank built by Franklin Avery. Franklin's brother William and their partner Frank also worked here. Um, William was married and apparently Frank and William's wife were pretty friendly. And one day, William mysteriously died and Frank and William's former wife snuck off to Nebraska and got married and they found poison in his blood. But the case was thrown out because he could have poisoned himself. So he is said to still haunt this building and like silverware is supposed to slide across the tables. Just 
pretty creepy, but it's such a cool building. I just got some coffee and I'm still waiting for it to kick in. I'm dying, people. Look at all these people everywhere. And they have no idea there's ghosts everywhere. Some kid turns and looks at me and had the most alarmed expression on his face. It was so funny, I felt bad. There's so much art everywhere in Fort Collins. I love it. Now you know why I love drawing. The next location is called the Armadillo Restaurant and my dad used to work there. I'm pretty sure they just tore it down because I'm seeing construction happen over there and that's where the restaurant used to be. Alrighty, I'm right here. It looks like I can't get any closer to this fence. Hi! <laughs> I love this. People are so friendly here. In LA, people just kind of see a camera and they're like, whatever, everybody's filming, so. But hey, if there's a camera, it's a big deal, you better say hi. Apparently, when the armadillo was a house, there was also a barn behind it, and the dude who owned it, his name was James. His wife was gonna leave him, and this dude had issues. He took his wife out front, and he killed her. Which is so sad and so horrible. And then he was hung a few days later, and apparently some people's lives ended in the barn so it was really haunted by a lot of people for a while especially when it was a restaurant and i'm pretty sure my dad can attest to this i think i've heard some stories about haunts from him but people would end up showing up as like a bunch of different people and i don't think they ever saw a certain form of a ghost like the bank i was telling you about earlier but there was definitely like forms walking around and stuff and things would move lights would turn on and off and water taps and doors would close so the only thing haunting this place anymore is my memories you leave a town and it changes so much growing up the construction workers who were watching me film that whole time, I think they were trying to decide whether or not to pose for a picture or tell me to leave. Either way, they let me film. So that is the end of our ghost tour today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more ghost tours, which I will actually go in the buildings and try and see more for you guys later on in LA, there's a lot of haunted locations there and I'll totally do it. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up the video, let me know below, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future adventures. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time on CJ vs. Reality.